Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Today, we're diving into the surprisingly complex and fascinating world of an everyday household item that we often take for granted, the can opener. Have you ever stopped to think about the history and the intricate engineering behind this humble kitchen gadget? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey that spans centuries of innovation, from the early days of food preservation to the modern marvels of engineering. To understand the story of the can opener, we need to start at the beginning with the history of canned food itself. In the early 19th century, preserving food was a major challenge. Sailors and soldiers needed durable food supplies that could last for long periods. In 1795, the French government, under the leadership of Napoleon Bonaparte, offered a prize for anyone who could devise a method to preserve food for the military. This led to Nicolas Apert developing the process of hermetically sealing food in glass jars and then heating them, which effectively kept the contents from spoiling. Apert's method was revolutionary, but glass jars were heavy and fragile, making them impractical for transport and use in harsh conditions. Enter Peter Duran, an Englishman who, in 1810, received a patent from King George III for a method of preserving food using tin-plated iron cans. These cans were much sturdier and could be made in various sizes, perfect for military use. The adoption of canned food spread quickly, revolutionizing food storage and transport. However, these early cans were incredibly thick, sometimes requiring a chisel and hammer to open. Imagine the frustration. For several decades, people used whatever tools they had on hand to open these cans, leading to many injuries and much wasted time. The need for a more efficient and safer method of opening cans became increasingly apparent. The first significant breakthrough in can opener design came in 1855, when Robert Yates, a cutlery and surgical instrument manufacturer, patented the first can opener. His device was quite primitive by today's standards, featuring a claw-shaped blade that punctured the can's lid and was then dragged around the edge to open it. This design was a vast improvement, but still required considerable effort and dexterity. In 1858, another leap forward was made by Ezra J. Warner, who patented a can opener used by the U.S. military during the Civil War. Warner's design was more robust and easier to use, featuring a pointed blade that was driven into the can lid and a lever arm to force the lid open. This device remained in use for many years, but it was not particularly user-friendly for civilians. The real game changer came in 1870 when William Lyman invented the rotating wheel can opener. Lyman's design incorporated a wheel that cut along the edge of the can lid as it was turned, which was a significant improvement in ease of use. However, it wasn't until the addition of a serrated wheel by the Star Can Company in the 1920s that the modern can opener truly took shape. The serrated wheel, introduced by the Star Can Company in the 1920s, revolutionized can openers by providing better grip and traction with its small tooth-like projections, ensuring the opener could bite into the can's edge and maintain a consistent hold while cutting. This innovation allowed for guided cutting, making the process smoother and reducing the chances of slipping. Additionally, it significantly reduced the manual effort required, allowing users to turn the handle and cut the lid with ease, thus enhancing the overall user experience. This can opener was a transformative moment in the history of can openers. Now that we've covered the historical context, let's dive into the intricate details of how modern can openers are made and how they work. The first step in making a can opener is the selection of materials. Most can openers are made from stainless steel due to its durability, resistance to corrosion, and strength. The manufacturing process begins with large sheets of stainless steel being fed into a cutting machine that stamps out the various components of the can opener. This includes the cutting wheel, the handle, and other mechanical parts. Once the parts are cut, 
they are sent to the shaping and forming stations. The cutting wheel, for instance, undergoes a precise grinding process to sharpen its edge to perfection. This sharp edge is crucial, as it must cut through the metal of the can lid smoothly. Simultaneously, other parts such as the handles are shaped and bent into their final forms. Next, the components are assembled. This involves a series of intricate steps where the cutting wheel is attached to the gear mechanism and the handles are fitted to ensure proper leverage and grip. Quality control is paramount at this stage. Each can opener is tested for functionality, ensuring that it operates smoothly and effectively. An interesting aspect of modern can openers is the inclusion of ergonomic design. Manufacturers pay close attention to the user experience, ensuring that the handles are comfortable to grip and the turning mechanism requires minimal effort. This consideration for ergonomics is the result of extensive research and development, aiming to make the can opener not just functional, but also a joy to use. Now, let's break down how a typical modern can opener works. The key components include the cutting wheel, the serrated feed wheel, the handles, and the turning mechanism. When you place the can opener on the can, the cutting wheel is positioned on the edge of the lid and the serrated wheel grips the side of the can. As you turn the handle, the cutting wheel rotates and pierces the lid, while the serrated wheel pulls the can opener forward, guiding it along the edge of the can. This coordinated action allows the cutting wheel to slice through the lid cleanly and efficiently. One of the most significant innovations in can opener technology is the development of the side cutting or smooth edge can opener. Unlike traditional can openers that cut through the top of the lid, side cutting can openers slice through the side of the lid, just below the rim. This design prevents sharp edges on the lid and the can, making it safer to handle. The mechanism for a side cutting can opener is similar to traditional ones, but requires precision engineering to ensure a smooth and even cut. The evolution of the can opener from a rudimentary blade to a sophisticated kitchen tool is a testament to human ingenuity and the drive to improve everyday objects. While it may seem like a simple tool, the can opener embodies a rich history of innovation adaptation, and refinement. To conclude, the can opener's journey from crude implements to modern, efficient tools mirrors the broader story of industrial innovation. It's a perfect example of how necessity drives invention and how continuous improvements can transform a mundane task into a seamless experience. So the next time you open a can, take a moment to appreciate the centuries of ingenuity that went into creating that little device. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.